It's Hot Topics Week Live on the Wendy Williams Show. The kids have come to play today. You won't believe what I'm about to tell you. All Hot Topics, all hour long, all week. I give it to you straight, no chaser. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. Come on. right place today because today kicks off an entire week of nothing but juicy hot topics oh my mouth is watery for the chat bout and also Michael Yo is here from the insider and he's gonna add to the mess about the scoop on Melania Trump in her GQ profile um, and also, we have a real-life hot topic. I can't believe for the first time to this show, it's Jocelyn yeah. Hernandez. I mean, I, for some reason, she seems like somebody who would have been here before, and I know I met her one time before, and that's why I thought she was here, but we met in passing. I was at the Good Day New York, which comes on right before this, you know, here in New York, and she was over there sitting with Stevie, but today, Jocelyn is here for herself, and guess what she told my producers? What? There is not a question off limits. <laughs> So in the meantime, to make a great week of Hot Topics, my Hot Topics Bureau has been working around the clock, digging up all the delicious celebrity yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that you love. Their business, Suzanne, is our business. Yeah, it is. They're yeah. working around the clock. Mm -hmm. Regular Walter Winchells, aren't you? <laughs> Ask your grandmothers, they know who that is. <laughs> Um, so in the meantime, oh, <laughs> we're at um, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Kim Richards may be going to jail. Oh. Now, not for nothing, Kim, I need you to do this two-year stretch. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why. Because just because you are famous and have a degree of wealth either behind you or in front of you or over you or whatever, doesn't mean you can thumb your nose at the law because the rest of us would have to do this time. Remember Kim was arrested last year for shoplifting at the Target. Oh. <laughs> Not just shoplifting, honey. <laughs> you know how sometimes you might forget a little something underneath your cart? <laughs> Maybe a roll of paper towels and you forget. And so by the time you get to your car, you're like, do I go back and pay for it? Or do I, <laughs> or do I just go? You know how sometimes a little pair of earrings might slide into your cart and they get caught? Or a little beeswax for your lips? Well, that's not Kim. Kim, Kim, you left with a heist. She stole over 100 items. <laughs> totaling, <laughs> totaling $612. Now I'm thinking that's more than leaving a roll of paper towels underneath your cart. Like what were you doing? Did you go in the bathroom in between? Cause sometimes when I'm at the Target, you know, cause I drink a lot of water, you know what I mean? And you never know when your love's gonna come down. <laughs> so, so like my favorite day for going, you know, errand running is usually Tuesdays, like one or two o'clock in the afternoon. Cause everyone's busy. Fridays are no good. Mondays are no good. Wednesdays are good. Like Tuesday, like one o'clock in the afternoon, there's nobody in the Target. So I'm pushing along. And then I feel like I have to go to the bathroom. Well, 
In most cases, I think they make you leave your basket outside, but I always put my basket inside with me in the bathroom. It's a one-person bathroom. It's just me, the sink, the toilet, <laughs> that thing that dries your hands, which I hate. <laughs> Bring back the paper. Um, and then my basket. At any given time, because there's no cameras in there, you know, you can hide stuff. Now, I'm not that kind of woman. I don't do that. The only reason why I bring my basket in is because, you know, they're so, they're, everybody's always cleaning up something. So I leave my basket for a moment. I come back out and all the work that I've done for the last hour <laughs> is now back on the rack. <laughs> so I bring my basket in. Listen, uh, she was, um, she stole this stuff, um, allegedly, and then also remember she was um, acting out of order at the um, bar where she went in by herself and she got drunk and then she punched a cop in the face, right? In she kicked, kicked, allegedly kicked the cop. She kicked. locked herself in the bathroom. All right, she, kicked, she locked herself in the bathroom and kicked a cop. Yes. Well, we don't know where the kick landed, so. <laughs> anyway, um, Kim was ordered to attend 52 hours, uh, or excuse me, 52 AA meetings and 30 days of community service. And remember, in between that sentencing and today, we um, here showed you a picture of Kim on the red carpet in heels with her sister, be, uh, sisters, because what she was trying to say is she got something, she has something wrong with her foot, so she wasn't able to do community service. Well, you know something, um, Kim? It, it is now um, time for you to face the judge again. I mean, you know, if you don't do this for anyone else, do it for your children. And by the way, she's about to be a grandma. So Kim needs these two years to teach her a lesson. I told you so. <laughs> I told you Prince's siblings would all come for each other. The fighting started earlier than I thought, though. Good thing it's Hot Topics Week. <laughs> okay. Yes! Remember, Prince didn't leave a will, which I still, I'm just like, damn. So his fortune, according to Minneapolis law, will be uh, split between his, um, his uh, sister, Tyka, who's his only sister with the same mother and father. So that's his full sister. And then he's got five half siblings, including one of those five is, um, you know, was away. He um, had the Vietnam and so he's away getting well, but he even came out to speak. Okay, so Prince's two brothers are asking Tyka uh, for more of their share of what they think that she's going to break him off. Break them off. This is just really, really bad. I just want a nice legacy for Prince, but there's so many different articles out, a lot of which I don't believe, so I will not be bringing up. If you go to the grocery store and you read the front cover of a lot of magazines, I don't believe that part. So I'm not talking about that. But. Tyka is the coordinator and the only full sibling, and she stormed out of the um, judge proceedings crying, and now everybody's fighting. Omar was there with his imaginary cigarette in my mind. Remember <laughs> Omar who smokes a cigarette down to the nub? Remember I was talking to you about him? And then the one who was, you know, is away at a facility, he came out, and the other ones were there as well. I just see this fighting going on and on and on, unfortunately. Um, but I do believe, shout out to all half siblings every place. But <laughs> <laughs> when the occasion comes where your wealthy sibling dies without a will, it's the whole sibling to me that should be the captain of the team. <laughs> just saying. So Taika, I wish you well. If there's anything that you want me to add to this story, it's a full week of hot topics. Yeah. So, come on now. <clears throat> in the meantime, there is a man in his 30s. See, this is all happening way too fast. I said, give it six months before the siblings start fighting. And you know, give it six months for everything. Honey, I mean, you all, it's been six minutes since Prince passed away. 
and the siblings are already fighting, and there's a man in his 30s who's claiming to be Prince's love child. <laughs> well, they're gonna do a DNA test to determine, and if he is Prince's love child, his DNA overrides even Tyka, so he gets everything. <laughs> But this guy is 30 years old. I don't have a picture of him because it's too expensive. No. There is no it, it, it Oh, there is no picture? <laughs> I'll sacrifice a couple pair of shoes. If you guys locate it by tomorrow, please bring okay. it to the show. <laughs> anyway, this guy um, that's saying this is one of hundreds who've come forward now to say that they are Prince's kids. But this particular man seems to have the most credible story. Now, I was asked in my meeting and I got an answer for you. Well, Wendy, why didn't he come forward, you know, sooner? Well, you know what? Maybe he just wanted Prince to live his life the way Prince was living his life. Maybe this guy, you know, not all love children are vipers and snakes. Some of them realize they're love children and just want to just, just leave it alone. But now that Prince has passed away, this kid is not intruding on Prince's life. This kid is just coming for what, in my opinion, he deserves. Yeah. We'll be following this story. Tyka, if there's anything you have to add, please do. Uh -oh. Beyonce is, again, being accused of stealing. People are claiming that Beyonce stole her formation tour choreography from another show. Well, we've been digging and we have the receipts. So take a look at Beyonce's choreography. Now, take a look at the choreography from a show I've never heard of and maybe you haven't either. But see, that's where you steal from, people who you... <laughs> you always steal from people nobody knows about. The problem is with the internet is that those people rise to the surface and then you got nosy people like us who find out about these people and then we expose it. Look at the choreography from a show called De La Guarda. <laughs> Caught your bae. Yeah. Although I do have to say, how many things do you do with legs? <laughs> you know, at some particular point, it's not called stealing, it's called, what else am I going to do? So let me do this. Do I think this is stealing? I don't know. Do I know for a fact that big rappers and R&B singers go to podunk Nowheresville, USA and steal from talented kids who only have a pot to piss in and you think that no one will ever find out you stole from those kids? Yes, I do, you know. Uh, Beyonce, Beyonce has been accused of copying before, this is not the first time. Remember the countdown music video? She was accused of stealing that, that also. The single ladies dance, she was accusing that. And um, one of her Lemonade music videos, she's been accused of stealing also. You know what, I didn't invent Hot Topics either. <laughs> I just do it better. Shade. No, you know, anyway. Um, all right, so moving on. You know I only care about sports when they intersect hot topics. It's time for a sports report, hit it. Hey. Well, you know, this poor young man, uh, Laramie Tunsil, you heard about him? Poor, poor, less than smart young man. 
college football player, was expected to be in the top three NFL draft picks, but minutes before the draft, his Twitter was hacked and someone posted a picture of him, not just smoking, but chiefing to the highest with a gas mask and a bong. Well, he then fell from the number three pick to the number 13 pick which cost him approximately $16 million. Do I think this was fair? Yes. You know why? Because this doesn't look like, a t See, you, know, you know when boys play Pop Warner football and they already know, based on what the parents and the coaches tell them, you know, you could be something one day. You stay in your books, you take care of your joints, and then by the time they're in, by the time they're in, by the time the boys are in high school, they have a fully functioning knowledge of the greatness that they could be. This does not look like a 10 year old. You guys, this they say was taken in like his sophomore era in college, which is why I feel as though he's getting everything he deserves right now because you are less than smart by your sophomore year, young man. You knew all about social media. You knew what a first round, second round, third round draft was. You are stupid. <laughs> Just saying, you know, when you're an athlete and you realize, or if there's something that you wanna do, even if it's not being an athlete, if you wanna rise to greatness, you've got to watch your social media and all who's taking these pictures. Now, this one was allegedly leaked by his stepfather. Oh. Allegedly. But, but you wanna know, and I hope mom is still not married to this man. Because if stepdad did leak this, then, then, then um, he's messed up her money. Um, anyway, let it just be a cautionary tale, please. Um, uh, the, the stepdad, by the way, is denying that he leaked these pictures, but somebody leaked this, and Jeremy, or L Laramie, clearly knew what was going on, and I just feel bad, but cautionary tale. So anyway. <laughs> Tom Brady just debuted a brand new haircut and um, it looks, uh, excuse me, a lot like the old Bieber. It's our hot shot of the day, hit it. First, I know it's not a wig, but it looks like a wig. Second, I just think he's too old to be rocking bangs in the Bieber. And third, I like him when his hair is pushed back with Vitalis, like that. I like that. I know what he's conscious of. He, me, Tyra Banks, we all have a big forehead and we're always trying to cheat our foreheads, you know, with a hairstyle. But at some point, Tom, you just gotta get right with your forehead and just <laughs> let it go. That's all. Um, do I hear maracas? Ole, okay. That means it's time for Wendy's vacation giveaway. Bring out the island. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Wendy. Did Jack have a good time? He loved it. He wishes he was here right now doing this. Is he a star? He totally upstaged at me. Yes, it's school. He's gonna go to school today and tell everyone the story in his birthday today. So. Oh, happy birthday, Jack! Aww, okay, it's time you. to meet our contestant. Let's get him on the phone. Do you like this is a traditional Mexican blanket? I like it. Yeah. Um, hello, uh, is this Stephen from Wisconsin? Oh my God! It is. Hello, oh, John. Hi, hi Stephen. It's Wendy and the whole gang. <laughs> oh, Stephen. Um, you're today's contestant on Wendy's Vacation Giveaway. Have you been watching our show every day on WITI? You know oh. <laughs> what did he say? He said, you know it. Oh, okay. you know it. Okay. Know it. okay, let's find out what you're playing for. Go ahead, All Suzanne. Right, here Spill we the umbrella. go, here we go. for. 
You're playing for a five-day, four-night vacation at the all-inclusive Playa Car Palace in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. We'll fly you and a guest to this breathtaking property by Palace Resorts, featuring one of Mexico's most celebrated dining experiences. Okay, Steven? Yes. Listen closely, because you only have 15 seconds to answer correctly, okay? Okay. And your first answer is your only one. All right. On Friday's Hot Topics, we showed an Instagram video of Tisha Campbell Martin's six-year-old son. What name does he call her in the video? 15 seconds and go! I know it, I love the show, it's Gina! Yes! Yes, Steven, congratulations. Have fun on your vacation. And thank you for watching, bye-bye. If you wanna be a winner like Steven and play Wendy's Vacation Giveaway, make sure you log on to my Facebook page to enter and make sure that you watch our show every day because we could be calling you next.